Welcome back for another episode on iron worker survey and layout. Today we're going to be doing some layout on a vertical surface and I'm going to start by getting the tripod set up. This time we're setting up on dirt so it's a little different than on concrete. I'm not going to be needing that leg strap and I'm going to make sure that I sink the feet of the tripod into the dirt as deep as I can. That way I know it doesn't shift while we're using it. There's some equipment running right beside me. I don't need the vibration moving the tripod. Which will happen if, uh, if a large roller or something fires up near your total station. You're probably going to have to stop doing what you're doing and wait for him to get done. Just something to be mindful of. All right, putting the total station on the top and tightening it down. All right, so I'm just having a look at the bubble on the tri brack and I'm adjusting it as close as I can with the legs. Alright, I'm turning the total station on with the power button on the side and I just started up field link on the tablet. I'm going to hit device and then connect there in the bottom right corner. Alright, so while that's connecting, let's have a look. If you see these columns that are on this line closest to me, that's what we're going to be laying out. Uh, building grid line N8 runs east and west through the centers of those columns and we're just going to be laying out where the face of those columns are uh, off of N8. As you can see we got really close with the leg so I'm just going to touch it up with the uh, thumb screws on the tri -brack. All right, there we are. So I'm going to hit device and setup and now I'm going to close out both those banners because we are going to do a resection and we're going to use a new instrument location. So now I'm going to zoom in on the map and select my first control point that I'll be using. It's going to be point number 470B. I've got my 360 prism selected and we're not going to worry about instrument height for this layout. So I turned the total station and pointed it uh, at 470B control point. Once I've got a lock, I'm going to hit that trigger in the top right corner. All right, so I've stored that location. I'm going to zoom back out and go to our 219A. This is one of the points we actually stored in the last video. I'm going to choose 219A and turn the total station towards it. And then it's locked on and I'm going to hit the, the trigger. Alright, so here we can see our setup. We got an eighth inch and with excellent angle. So we're going to set. Alright, so we're ready to uh, go ahead and do that layout. I'm going to choose measure in the top center there and then layout and we're going off of grid line N8 right now what they want to know is where the column where the face of that column is versus actual grid line N8 so it is going to be an offset because the grid line runs through the center of those columns And change it to mini circle and we aren't messing with elevation so it doesn't even matter what the rod height says all right I'm just going to use that prism directly on the surface and I just got to make sure that I keep that prism angled directly 
into the total station. You can really be off by a considerable amount if you don't have that prism angle looking right at the total station. Alright, so there we are at 9 inches north of grid line L8, uh, N8. So I'm going to write 9 inches offset of N8. Okay. Pretty simple. I'm going to go on to the next one here. Do the same thing. I'm going to use that control to rotate the total station over and get a lock on my prism. Okay, there's the lock. And just making sure that I have the prism looking right into the total station. I'm going to see where the face of that column is. Okay, so this one's at 8 and 15 sixteenths, 8 and 7 eighths bouncing. We'll go with 8 and 15 sixteenths off of N8. All right, and they're going to use these marks to set those wing, wing girts that are up above. So in case there's some twist in that column, I'm going to mark both edges of the flange. Then they can just use a, a laser and shoot up to set those wind girts that are right above me. That one was eight and seven eighths. Doing the same thing, the next column down the line. Use the control and get a lock. This one's at seven and seven eighths off of N8. All right, and then I'm going to fast forward here. I do the exact same thing a couple more times. I'm watching that prism angle and marking the face of that column, what our offset off of N8 is. All right, so I just want to check if our column is centered. So that's 17 and a half inches it measures, and our offset off of center of grid line is eight and three quarter so that's that's exact that column is exactly on grid all right so now I'm just gonna uh, because there's a wind girt that runs north and south here I'm gonna mark where center of this column is on the north and south grid line which is gonna be uh, L16 so I'm gonna mark center of the column And then this column does have an offset. I'm just uh, going to check where center of this column is off of L16. And it's at three and a quarter inches off of L16. So I'm going to mark that on there. Again, they'll be able to use the laser and shoot straight up and locate that wind girt that's right above me off of L16. All right, so. That was about it. Short little video for you. How we do layout on a vertical surface. I hope you learned something and we'll see you next time.